Ave Maria, welcome again to Cato Pinoy Franciscan Vesper or Evening Prayer. Today we are already in the Evening Prayer 1 for the 14th uh, Sunday in Ordinary Time. So if you have your bravery like this or digital, let us start to pray this Vesper, uh, praying the invocation of Saint Bonaventure. Lord, open my lips to praise your holy name. Cleanse my heart with many worthless evil distracting thoughts. Give me the wisdom and love necessary to pray this office with attention, reverence, and devotion. Father, let my prayer be heard in your presence, for it is offered through Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. Alleluia. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, every tongue confess Him, King of glory now. This the Father's pleasure, we should call Him Lord. Who from the beginning was the mighty word. Humble for a reason to receive a name. From the lips of sinners unto whom he came. Faithfully he bore it spotless to the last, brought it back victorious when from death he passed. Bore it up triumphant with its human line, through all ranks of creatures to the central high. To the throne of God and to the Father's breast, filled it with the glory of the perfect rest. In your hearts enthrone Him, there let Him subdue all that is not holy, all that is not true. May your voice entreat him in temptation's arm. Let his will enfold you in its light and power. Brothers, this Lord Jesus shall return again with his Father's glory o'er the earth to reign. He is God the Savior, He is Christ the Lord, ever to be worshipped, always blessed, adore. First Antiphon, Your word, O Lord, is the lantern to light our way. Alleluia. From Psalm 119, verse 105 to 112 your word is a lamp for my steps and a light for my path i have sworn and have made up my mind to obey your decrees lord i am deeply afflicted by your word give me life accept lord the homage of my lips and teach me your decrees though i carry my life in my hands i remember your law though the wicked try to ensnare me I do not stray from your precepts. Your will is my heritage forever, the joy of my heart. I set myself to carry out your will in fullness forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. First Antipon. Your word, O Lord, is the, lantern, is the lantern to light our way. Alleluia. Second Antiphon, When I see your face, O Lord, 
I shall know the fullness of joy. Alleluia. From Psalm 16 Preserve me, God, I take refuge in you. I say to the Lord, you are my ref, you are my God. My happiness lies in you alone. He has put into my heart a marvelous love for the faithful ones who dwell in his land. Those who choose other gods increase their sorrows. Never will I offer their offerings of blood. Never will I take their name upon my lips. O oh Lord, it is you who are my portion and cup. It is you yourself who are my prize. The lot marked out for me is my delight. Welcome indeed the heritage that falls to me. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel, who even at night directs my heart. I keep the Lord ever in my sight. Since he is at my right hand, I shall stand firm. And so my heart rejoices, my soul is glad. Even my body shall rest in safety. For you will not leave my soul among the dead, nor let your beloved know decay. You will show me the path of life, the fullness of joy in your presence. At your right hand, happiness forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Second Antiphon When I see your face, O Lord, I shall know the fullness of joy. Alleluia. Third Antiphon Let everything in heaven and on earth bend the knee at the name of Jesus. Alleluia. Canticle is taken from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Chapter 2, verse 6 to 11. Though he was in the form of God, Jesus did not deem equality with God something to be grasped at. Rather, he emptied himself and took the form of a slave, being born in the likeness of man. He was known to be of human estate, and it was thus that he humbled himself, obediently accepting even death, death on a cross. Because of this, God highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name above every other name, so that at Jesus' name every knee must bend in the heavens on the earth and under the earth, and every tongue proclaim to the glory of God the Father, Jesus Christ is Lord. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Third Antipon, let everything in heaven and on earth bend the knee at the name of Jesus. Alleluia. Now the reading this Sunday is taken from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians, chapter 1, verse 2b to 6a. May God our Father give you grace and peace. We always give thanks to God the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In our prayers for you, because we have heard of your faith in Christ Jesus, and the love you bear toward all the saints, move as you are by the hope held in store for you in heaven. You heard of this hope through the message of truth, the gospel which has come to you, has borne fruit, and has continued to grow in your midst as it has everywhere in the world. Responsory, from the rising of the sun to its setting, may the name of the Lord be praised. Response, from the rising of the sun to its setting, may the name of the Lord be praised. His splendor reaches far beyond the heavens. Response, may the name of the Lord be praised. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Response, from the rising of the sun to its setting, may the name of the Lord be praised. Canticle of Mary My yoke is easy and my burden is light, says the Lord. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. 
for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear Him in every generation. He has shown the strength of His arm. He has scattered the proud in the conceit. He has cast down the mighty from the throne and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the which he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy. The promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory be to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and never shall be, world without an Amen. Canticle of Mary, My yoke is easy, and my burden is light, says the Lord. Intercession God aids and protects the people He has chosen for, he, for His inheritance. Let us give thanks to Him and proclaim His goodness. Response, Lord, we trust in You. We pray for Francis, our Pope, and Rolando, our Bishop. Response, protect them and in Your goodness make them holy. May the sick feel their companionship with the suffering Christ response, and know that they will enjoy His eternal consolation. In your goodness, have compassion on the homeless. Response, help them to find proper housing. Graciously protect our nation from evil. Response, that it may prosper in your peace. Lord, you attend the dying with great mercy. Response, grant them an eternal dwelling. So, brothers and sisters, let us include in this Franciscan Vesper or evening prayer, uh, even though it is raining outside, uh, our family, relatives, friends, and loved ones, and let us include also our frontliners, our brothers and sisters affected by this coronavirus, and let us pray for uh, Elizabeth of Portugal and our Blessed Mother to stop this uh, pandemic and let us pose a moment of silence for our own personal intention. Now let us pray together the prayer our Lord Jesus Christ taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father, through the obedience of Jesus, your servant and your son, you raise a fallen world, free us from sin, and bring us the joy that lasts forever. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, 
who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, your family, relatives, friends, and loved ones, your health, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. So thank you very much. And I greet you a blessed evening and a wonderful Saturday and a blessed weekend. So this is your host and your companion, Father Johannes Jeremy Maria Salise, the Franciscan Friars of the Immaculate. And always remember, don't forget, smile, be happy. Mama Mary loves you. Ave Maria.